So this is probably going to be the last part of the series. I didn't actually plan uh, what to talk about, what to write about the diagrams, but the uh, notion of trying to share my thoughts and, and, and trying to get confirmation that I'm actually doing right, uh, the right thing, going the right route is important now. So the next stage will probably be to try and get an implementation of GMDS or GDC distances. Uh, trying to get something that maps from a uh, let's say 3D to a uh, to a list of distances and it has to be a sorted list of distances because I have to fit them into a PCA approach at the end uh, for a certain number of points that I can choose uh, and then uh, using the sets that I have uh, I should be able to then construct a PCA uh, type thing uh, using the existing training set, existing uh, uh, well, so, so what we want to do is training with distances and we want to do some uh, fitting with distances or to do an assessment with distances and recognition tests recognition tests um, and having done so uh, we then want to do a comparison and a equal type basis between the uh, Euclidean uh, versus geodesic uh, versus uh, pure uh, PCA. So I say principal component, whatever. So uh, Euclidean, that's a typo. Uh, and that's basically the plan to, to try and do a benchmark between those different uh, metrics as used to distinguish between phases and stuff like that. And that ought to work, they think, uh, the way we expect it to.